Hi friends, in this video we're going to explore some of the skin signs you can get with COVID-19 infection. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about COVID-19 infection, but if you don't, you're probably living under the rock. In summary, COVID-19 is a very serious viral respiratory infection that has affected people worldwide to the point that the WHO has classified it as a global pandemic. This virus was originally recognized in Wuhan, China in December 2019. And since then, we have seen skin signs associated with this condition. Now, dermatologists from across the world have actually come together to classify these skin signs into various subtypes. The reason why we do this is so that, number one, healthcare professionals and patients themselves are aware of these skin signs and to think about COVID and get themselves tested as these skin signs can sometimes present during or even before the COVID-19 infection. And number two, some of the skin manifestations can actually predict how severe the COVID-19 infection is. And this can actually predict if the patient needs hospitalization and oxygen as a result. Now, I'm going to list some of the references down in the description below. So if you're interested to know more, do check them out. The most common type of skin rash we see with COVID-19 infection is the mobiliform rash. Now, mobiliform essentially means that the rash looks like measles, which gives rise to the flat patches and raised bumps on the body. Mobiliform rash, also known as the macular papular rash, typically presents on the body and can present either at the onset of the rash, during the infection itself, as well as during recovery when the patient goes home. This type of rash usually lasts for around 8 days and are typically associated with a more severe infection. The next rash is the urticarial rash. Urticarial rash typically looks like hives or nettle rash. The rash typically appears as raised, itchy bumps that comes and goes within a day. They usually involve the body, the arms and legs, and typically last for around 6 to 8 days. Similar to the mobiliform or maculopapular rash, they are associated with a more severe form of COVID infection. The third pattern, and perhaps the most famous pattern of all, that's associated with COVID-19 infection is the tube lane acral pattern, or people call it COVID toes. In this pattern, you get edema, which is also known as swelling, affecting the fingers and toes. And this is associated with redness, pain, and sometimes itching. So this is actually called pseudotubulins or pneusis, as tubulins themselves are a reaction to cold temperatures. And the mechanism in which tubulins are formed is actually quite different from that in COVID-19. Patients in this category tend to be younger and have a milder form of COVID. The skin lesions themselves typically last for around 12 days and tend to happen at a later cause of the disease. Next up is the papular vesicular exanthem. Now these are made up of red bumps and vesicles on the skin which can look similar to chickenpox. They tend to appear in middle age groups and tend to appear more commonly before the other symptoms. They are associated with moderate disease severity and typically last for around 10 days. The levido reticularis pattern classically presents as a lace-like network of dusky, blue, purplish blotches on the skin. The appearance of this rash typically suggests that there is some occlusion in the blood vessels supplying the skin. And as a general rule, these are typically seen in older patients with a more severe disease state. Lastly, we have this purpuric vasculitic pattern. Now, this is a pattern that happens as a result of inflamed blood vessels causing leakage of blood to the surrounding skin. And in this pattern, you get this sort of purple red rash that sometimes look like bruises. Sometimes, but not always, this rash can ulcerate, causing skin to die, also known as skin necrosis. Again, this pattern is associated with poorer outcomes with COVID. Now, interestingly, in the UK, there is a study funded by the British Association of Dermatologists, um, which collects data from people in the UK who have had COVID. They developed this app that allows people to post pictures of any skin signs associated with COVID-19 infection. If I'm not mistaken, the group looked at just under 3,000 skin rashes sent by the general public. The photographs sent were then reviewed by dermatologists and subsequently classified into various subtypes, as I've just mentioned. If you are interested to know more about the various skin signs associated with COVID-19 infection, or if you'd like to contribute more photographs to the database, I provided the website in the description below. So there we have it. These are the six skin signs associated with COVID-19 infection. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. I hope you find this useful and educational. I certainly enjoyed making this video myself. Thank you for watching once again. See you next time. Bye-bye.